So I've had my Framework 13 laptop for about a year now and I've thoroughly enjoyed using it, especially when I was traveling. And in a lot of ways, this is like the laptop of my dreams because I've always wanted to build my own laptop, have a DIY laptop similar to when I'm building my own computers. And even though other companies and brands have tried, no one has done it as well as Framework especially when it comes to repairability and upgradability. And even though it has a lot of pros, there's also cons. And the one biggest problem that I have with my Framework 13 is heat, specifically heat management. And so even though I'm doing things that I would normally do on my other laptops, like using my browser, watching videos, using spreadsheets, doing video editing, I've never had the fan come on as much as I have with the framework. And even though the newer framework models does a lot better with heat management, I didn't want to spend money again to get those different motherboards. However, I had one of my viewers give me a really great suggestion and a fix for my heating problems with my framework 13. And I'm going to show you that today if you're having the same problems. So this is my current setup for my Framework 13 laptop. I have it connected to a larger monitor here and I'm running Linux Mint as my main operating system, but I'm also running Windows 11 in this virtual machine. Plus I have one terabyte of storage on one of my ports that I use to run Windows 11 as well whenever I need to use DaVinci Resolve. And so this machine gets used for everything and so it's important that I minimize the heat and the fan noise. So the fix for this fan problem is super easy and it's something that can be easily overlooked but I'm going to show you how to do this in both Linux Mint and Windows. And so in Linux Mint all you have to do is go to your menu then go to system settings and then you're going to scroll down until you get to power management and under power management you see this thing called extra options and then you see power mode. By default it's set to balance so all you have to do is choose power saver from the drop down and that's it. And then similarly in Windows, you're going to go to your start and then go to your settings. And once you're here, go to system and then go to power and battery. And then under power mode, it's set to balanced as well. So here you have two options for plugged in and on battery. Simply change both of those to power efficiency, best power efficiency and it's basically going to do the same thing. And so the benefits of doing this is, well, it's going to not use your CPU as high as it could. So that minimizes the amount of heat and thus minimizes the amount of times that your fan comes on. But the drawback of doing this is you're not going to be able to use more of the power of your CPU. So some things can get a little bit slower, especially if you're doing things more intensive like gaming or video editing. But if you're doing those activities and you want more power, all you have to do is change the power management settings to a higher performance and then you should be good to go but the drawback is the fans are going to come on more often but this fix is so much easier and way cheaper than having to buy another upgrade to this framework 13 laptop and if you did buy the newer ones their heat management on their newer boards are a lot better and I did want to give a big thank you to the person who actually recommended this because it actually did work and I'm so happy that my fan doesn't come on all the time. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you fix this problem on your laptop, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my original unboxing and thoughts on the Framework 13 laptop, I will leave that video in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe and I'll see you on another episode.